Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's gonna be another fodder video, okay? As we know, fodder is very, very profitable. Um, and there's more profit to be made. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe. Um, we just hit 1.6K on the road to 2,000 subs. Also, over on Twitch, I've been streaming daily. If you're new over there, pause the video right now. Go, I was gonna say go subscribe. You could sub if you want, but go follow me on Twitch. The link for that will be in the description down below. We're gonna be using Footbin a lot this video um, because I kind of wanted to make a video just kind of explaining why fodder is too cheap. I know I made an investing guide. Um, this is gonna be investing guide too, but it's kind of just gonna be wrapping up everything. Um, so you guys want all of this in one video. All right, so starting it off. Footbin, footbin, footbin. We're gonna go through every rating. We're gonna compare them through last year's and it's just gonna be all around a very good video. And I wanted to start off with 83s because I know a lot of people are kind of just not investing in them. Um, and they're basically discard. They're like 850 coins. Um, so let's go over them, right? Why are they this cheap? Number one, there hasn't been an SPC that everyone has wanted to do besides the hero SPC, okay? We've got the Fakir, we've got the Conte, that boost up fodder. Um, we got the hero, we got the Nkuku. So those SPCs, we've had like four or five of them. We haven't had an insane one. We haven't had that icon SPC. We haven't had a team of the week SPC worth doing, okay? And we'll compare that um, in this video, but let's just take John Stones. This card is 850 coins, okay? In my opinion, this is too cheap and I, I, I'm not gonna say go all out on him, okay? But I did want to compare it with FIFA 21. All right, if we go look, FIFA 21 players, and we look at 83 rated goals, okay? There is a trend with these and I, I, I wanna put this out there, okay? Black Friday is this month. All right, I'm just throwing that out there. I know it is like the fourth, but I'm just putting that out there, okay? Black Friday is this month. And let's just go look at a player. Let's look at a player like Tadic, okay? Like it always, he's the cheapest 83 rated card. So what does he do? On a Black Friday, okay, leading up to it, he starts to go up. He's this card the entire year, basically the entire year. And if we really zoom on, on, zoom in on this, okay, let's go. We can literally see that he's discard, okay? 900 coins, same thing with John Stones. And then leading up to Black Friday, we get SBCs, okay? And he boosts up in price. And then on actual Black Friday, he's 2K. And for a week, he's over 2K. So what we can base this off is, guys, I really, really, really think that we are gonna see the same trend in 83s, okay? I really think John Stones, like this card, English center back Prem, Man City, 83 rated. Um, I don't know, I, I just think this is very cheap and we've seen him go up a little bit, 1.3K, he's still 850. I, I really just think that 83s will go up and I'll show another example. Let's go, let's go with like a goalie, okay? A goalie, terrible nation, okay? Let's see what he did during Black Friday. And I'm, I'm just putting this Black Friday out there because it is this month. And I'm telling you guys right now, if you invest in these cards, they will go up. All right, Black Friday comes out, he's over 2K. So what you guys can do with this information is, number one, you can buy right now because I honestly don't think we're gonna see these prices for long. And this is just 83s, okay? This is just 83s. I honestly think as we go into this month, people are gonna be investing. People are gonna be telling um, traders, content creators, whatever, they're gonna be advising, investing in these guys because um, of what we saw last year. And I'm trying to tell you guys this early, okay? 750 for an 83 rated card, that is disgusting. Like he can literally be 1.5 like that with an SBC. He just shoots up to 1.5, so that's double your coins, okay? And that's just on 83s. Look how many 83s there are under 1K. I really, really think that 83s under a K 
are a very, very safe bet. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think this is very good. And you can pick out the players that are going to go up more. All right, center backs normally go up more. Left backs, right backs, these cards normally go up more. Good leagues, good positions. These guys all go up way more, right? Acampos, left wing, Argentina. This, this card's going to go up, okay? He's 850 coins. I just think it's very cheap. All right, and that's just for 83s. Let's move on to 84s, okay? And 84s I actually like right now. I'm I'm investing in them. Look at this. 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. Let, let, let's take a look at Tadic, okay? Okay, moving on to Tadic. He's 2.1K right now. Okay, if we go look at him, he was 2.6, 2.7 this week. That is way too cheap. If we go look at FIFA 21, I'm, I'm literally basing this video off FIFA 21 because we're going to see the same trends and it happens every year, but a little bit different each year. Let's take a look at Onana. Okay. Uh, he's not in the game this year, but let's take a look at him. Goalie, terrible nation. What does he do? His 84 rated card, goalkeeper card, by the way, was first off, he's above 3K. So like, look at this. He gets down to 2.2. So People cannot say fodder is too cheap right now, okay? Because it's way too cheap. Right here, he was extremely cheap. And if you got in on him, that's a very good deal. Because during Black Friday, he got up to 6K. You could probably sell him at seven. So what I'm telling you guys is, number one, you can hold till Black Friday if you want. Two, look at this. All right, we've got an SBC before Black Friday. He shot up to three, 4K. That's already doubling your coins, okay? So... What I'm telling you is, number one, you guys can go all in. Literally just put all of your coins in fodder. You will make double or triple your profit. Okay, 84s, you've seen them, they go to 6K. If you get certain 84s, they'll go up higher. Jack Grealish, I think this is very underrated. Okay, an English left wing from the Prem, 84 rated as well. Um, he went to 2.8. He's 2.5, you can get him at like, even 2.5K, like you guys don't understand. This is extremely cheap, and I don't think we're gonna see these prices for long. Um, that's kind of what I have to say about 84s. I think they could easily double, and they will easily double. So invest in them, okay? 85s, this is interesting, okay? This is very interesting, because there are 6,000 coins. There is literally no reason they are this cheap. I don't understand. They got up to seven, seven and a half K. Um, when we got the hero SBC and they're only going to continue to rise. I really 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 don't see these guys going down Okay tomorrow the only the only way they don't go down is if number one We don't get a player of the month Two, we get Salah and he's like crazy expensive and no one's completing him um, That's literally the only reason he goes down because not only could we be getting Salah player of the month but there's like four other leagues where we're getting a player of the month this year. And that's all gonna maybe happen next week. So we're gonna be getting Rule Breakers SBCs daily because we literally got them team one almost daily. We got really good ones that boosted fodder up. We could be seeing a flashback SBC. We could be seeing an icon SBC that is in the code as well. So all of these SBCs we're getting are coming, okay? And everyone's gonna be start to invest. If we don't get anything tomorrow, they're gonna invest tomorrow. So I really think if fodder prices don't go up tomorrow, sink your club, sink your coins, okay? Literally buy as many as you can, because after that, I think we're not gonna see this price. 6K for an 85, that's disgusting. Once again, let's go look, okay? Let's go look at 85s on FIFA 21, all right? And I want to do this because I literally just want to be 100% transparent with you guys. I think this is too cheap. And I am I just want to explain to you guys why, okay? Look at this. 85s were, yeah, 7K, okay. During Black Friday, they got up to 11,000 coins. So if you can find them from 6K to however, like 5 to 6K, that's basically doubling your coins, okay? And I really think this is undervalued. I really think this is undervalued. This year, we're gonna get insane SBCs. Number one, people have more coins this year, so they're gonna complete SBCs. Um, and they're just gonna wanna be building and building their teams. We're getting insane SBCs as well. So I think 
fodder is gonna go up even higher than last year. Icon SPC is supposed to be coming, um, and I just really think 85s under 6.5K is disgusting. I really think a Thiago Silva at 6.5K is nasty. He got up to 7.5. So we've already seen these guys rise. We know they will rise. So it's just a matter of time. All right, moving on. 86s, okay? Oh my God. We've seen these guys sell at 15K, not, not Parejo, okay? But the thing is, right? Flippin doesn't have the accurate prices. I'm pretty sure I did see him sell 14 to 15. Um, he's back down at 11. And if we go look, all 80, 86s are, are 13K to 11K. And reason for this is some of them have a price range of 12K, okay? Not Insignia. Um, I don't know who has a price range of 12K, but some of them do, and they are extinct, okay? I know David Silva, wherever he was, he had a price range. He was extinct. Um, but they do have price ranges and he got up to 15k Jordi Alba he's down to 12 so I think tomorrow if these guys don't go up buy as many as you can because you could probably get them at 10 and we we literally saw these guys go up okay it, it's very cheap very profitable we can compare it to FIFA 21 if we want to because it's just like every single one of these fodder cards was more expensive over there um because I don't think anyone's investing this year uh, this David Silva, he, wait, was he extinct? I don't even know. Okay, 86 rated. Okay, I'm dumb. This is even 21. I was like, how is he 4K? But let's go look at him, right? 86s. I mean, we're not going to see. Okay, well, like 27,000 coins for an 86. I, I think you guys don't understand. You guys don't understand this, okay? 86s are normally like 15 to 20k. That's what 86s are normally in the market. They're 10,000 coins, 11,000 coins. That's extremely cheap. And we don't even have to just take David Silva. We can take really any 86 rated card that was fodder last year and go look at it because it's the exact same thing. Okay, 14k, Black Friday came and he was like 18. Yes, someone up more. So that's who you're gonna invest in, you know? So that's 86s. Let's go look at 87s. Okay, we're gonna go through all the fodder ratings. This is gonna be a very long video. Muller, 16,000 coins for an 87 rated. So what do I have to say? He got up to 20,000 coins when we got the hero card. You could probably snipe him at 14 to 15. I just think this is a no brainer. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is just a no-brainer 87s on FIFA 21 let's go let's take let's take him for an example okay how much how much was he Black Friday comes he's 30k so I'm just telling you guys right now we will almost never see these prices again okay and I'm not saying tomorrow we're not gonna see these prices I'm talking about in a week or two, we will not be seeing these prices, okay? After Black Friday, we will not be seeing these prices, okay? That's what I'm saying. I don't want you guys to come on this video tomorrow and say, why didn't my cards go up, okay? Because I'm gonna be honest, who cares if they don't go up tomorrow? Who cares if they don't go up Sunday? Saturday, Sunday, Monday comes around, who cares if they don't go up, all right? If you're putting in millions of coins into fodder, you literally just need that one SBC. And then that one SBC doubles your coins. I have 6 million coins and I'm going to invest literally almost all of it into fodder. And when I sell, I'm going to want around 10 to 12 mil. And I just think it's number one, the easiest way to invest. The easiest, easiest, no risk, double your coins, triple your coins, whatever you want to call it and it's kind of guaranteed to go up and what i think ea are going to do this year which will be interesting is they are going to require a certain amount of rating so i think they could say you need 487s in the squad 288s 
485s, whatever. I think they could say that, and I think it's gonna make certain cards fly. I literally think certain cards will fly because they could require, they might not have a rating requirement, but they could require 587s, 588s, and 183, or 189, okay? And then we are gonna have to buy 587s, 588s, and an 89. So those cards will, in particular, go up more than others. You know what I'm saying? So I think they could do it this year. We've already seen it in some requirements. We saw it towards the end of last year. I think we could easily, easily see it this year. All right, that's just 87s. Let's go look at Dybala. Okay, let's see. All right, he was 20K as well. So, and he's down. These cards just rose and then dipped. And what are they gonna do again when we get another SBC? They are gonna rise a ton. Navas went to 26K, he's down at 22. All right, if we go look at 88s last year, I guarantee you they went to around 40K during Black Friday, I would say, probably. Maybe 38, 39, let's see. During Black Friday, they got up to 30K, 40, 88. So. This card did not rise that much, 33K, all right? But he did rise for footmas. We're not, we're not talking about footmas. All right, we're not talking about footmas, okay? But these cards did go up. Black Friday, he was 30K. If we go look at, let's take like a, let's take a Harry Kane for an example, okay? Black Friday, he was 36. So some cards do go up more than others. That, we already know that. Um, Black Friday, he was 32, 31. So, guys, this is so cheap. Like, and if we go up 89s, if we go to like a Benzema, okay, we were picking this guy up for 19K, by the way. He's 31, he went up to 35. All right, if we go look at 89s, FIFA 21, 89, 89. Let's see. Let's take an Aguero, okay? Let's look at this. Okay, now, um, Man City Aguero. He got up to 50K, 40K, 40K, all right? And they're 30. Um, but I really think the most profitable, the very, very most profitable are 84s, 83s, and 85s. I think an 84 at 2.1K is disgusting. And I haven't really been on FIFA this video, but if we go look on the market, okay, and we search, how much is he? That just goes to show you. I mean, number one, people are panicking for tomorrow because they think we're gonna get lots of packs, okay? But what they don't realize is we're also getting SBCs. We're also getting a player of the month. And I guarantee you an 84 rated card will be more than 2.3K. If we get Sala, if he's around 500, to 800k in that price range because he's gonna be good he's a very 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 meta card um and i i think a lot of people are gonna want to complete him pros are saying he's good um so i kind of just want to push that out there if we go look let's see his cheapest okay is it 2000 coins no 2.1 so actually i'm gonna buy this because 2.1 for this card is way too cheap all right i can i'm telling you guys this right now I want to be able to sell this card for over 3k this weekend and look I'm gonna be honest look I'm gonna be transparent with you guys okay we bought Schmeichel's for 6.5 hazards for 6.3 the pie for 6.5 and I guarantee if we go look right now those are all cheaper okay and it's crazy because they are gonna be cheaper right like 6k no that's mm -mm, that's too cheap all right, I was paying 6.5 and I thought that was a good price. You know what I'm saying? And guys, don't worry if fodder drops, okay? Don't be afraid, don't panic, don't panic sell your fodder. Who cares if they drop in a day? Who cares if they drop a couple hundred coins? Do you know what I'm saying? Like it really doesn't matter because eventually they'll go up. So if you see them dropping, buy more. Literally do what I'm doing, okay? He was 6.5 k today and now i'm buying more because he's down all right let's go look schmeichel how much is he 6.2 i'm gonna buy all of these because 
6.2k for an 85 rated that's way too cheap all right i think i could easily sell this at 9k maybe 10 and his max price range is 10. so i think a lot of these 85 rateds are gonna have to get their price range updated um who else do we have hazard we had nabry so let's go look at their cards okay how much is a hazard let's see hazard we only have 47k by the way ed and hazard is coming in at 6.1 I'm gonna buy this because 6.1K, 5.9, we'll take that 6K, 6K we'll take, cause this is too cheap, okay? And this is what I tell you guys, if they drop, buy more. I've invested in 80, I bought a lot of Tadatches today. I got some ZX and a Guerrero. Um, I am on assigned way more than this, but I was paying 2.5 for a ZX. Let's go see how much he is right now. I guarantee you he's cheaper, cause a lot of people are panicking and I think, I think it's way too cheap, okay? Two point, he is, okay, so he's 2.5. I'll buy a couple more because that's too cheap, all right? But hopefully you guys got the gist of this video. Um, I kinda just wanted to make like an ultimate fodder investing guide for you guys. Um, literally, double triple your coins. I know I made a video about this a couple days ago, but guys, seriously, 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 fodder is way too low. I know it went up, it can go up more. We have player of the month sala coming hopefully it's tomorrow we have more player of the month we have an icon sbc we still have the hero sbc out we have fofana we have rule breakers sbc we have a lot of sbcs coming if you guys want you can invest you can hold until black friday if you guys want to i'm not i don't even like saying that because it's like the first of the month but i know like okay, well, I don't know what just happened to my computer, um, but I know this is a longer video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it Okay, if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you learned some stuff 23 or not 23 but 20 minute video. That's kind of crazy um, But thank you guys so much for following the channel. All right sub to it if you're new Hopefully you made coins um, I'm gonna go unassigned. I'm already unassigned. I'm gonna go deeper um, But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching if you're new subscribe follow the twitch Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok will be in the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.